Hey guys, it's Danilis here, and I'm back to my second episode of Dragon Ball Z Mystery Set. I really appreciated the support in my last video, so I've decided to make another helpful video for all of you. And today's video is going to be about how to get as many gems as possible. Now, so it's easier for everyone, I've decided to make a second account, which is a lower level, so that people who aren't as advanced in the game can get a better understanding on the things I'm going to talk about. I did this because now that I'm level 72, I've completed all the events and all the tasks that you do receive when you first start the game. So I'm just doing this so you can understand it more clearly and you can actually visually see what I'm talking about. You'll also notice in the video that I'll be transitioning from my main account to my new account a fair bit, so don't mind that at all. The first thing I'm going to talk about is quests. Now, there is two different types of quests. The first one is daily quests and the second is achievement quests. Daily quests are quests that you receive every day that give you rewards for completing certain tasks and you get 24 hours to do this before the server restarts. The main thing about these quests are that you need to complete them all and it's really not that hard to do. And the reason you should complete them all is so that you can receive all four chests at the top of the screen which give you gems but if you don't have much time to play the game you can have a choice to complete particular daily tasks to also receive gems. These include clearing the dungeon master, so that pretty much means clear the battle mode 15 times, or random purchase, so that means you need to go to the shop and buy two items. I generally just buy the two cheapest items, it doesn't matter how pricey they are. Uh, another one you'll get is for exploring 10 times with Kid Goku in adventure, so that's really simple, I think we all do that every day. Uh, you've got the Recast Master, which pretty much just means go to your Android plant and complete one craft furnace, so that could either be crafting your gear or runes, and lucky last you'll need to do at least three battles in tournament. Even if you know you can't beat the person in front of you, still battle them three times so that you can complete the quest, because honestly, losing in tournament doesn't affect you at all. I used to think it does, but I used to care about my rank too much, and no one sees it. You don't go down, you don't lose anything for it, so I'd recommend doing it. Now, for achievement quests, these quests are challenges that you complete throughout your entire time of playing the game. So, they pretty much give you gems as you progress through the game. So an example is, earn a total of 500 pieces of 4 star gear. Eventually, you guys will craft enough gear or you'll get enough gear uh, to reach 500 pieces. It doesn't mean you have to have it on you, it just means in total. And you'll receive however many gems um, that task gives you. So this one here at the top says, earn 150 3 star heroes. And I obviously need 12 more to collect before I can get the gift and it gives me that many gems. Next up is the signing rewards. Now there is two parts to this. First part is to tap the bottom tab underneath the achievement quest and you claim the box that you are up to. The higher VIP you are means the more rewards you can get as time goes by. But after you do this you also want to click on the chest above depending on which one you are up to and you want to claim it. They will all give you gems so don't worry about that. And the second part to this is to go into the hall of fame and you need to like the fighter of the universe. This always gives you 100k and once you do that you'll also be able to claim the chest at the bottom of the screen. The chests do change so the reward may vary but generally you should get gems. Today I actually didn't get any gems but yesterday I got some. So it just really depends. I'm not sure if it's the same for everyone or if it changes every week so yeah just make sure you do that every day. Now believe it or not, tournament rewards you with gems for going up higher in rank. I recently just received 200 gems for getting to rank 4 for the first time and this will happen every time you reach a particular rank. But once you get to that rank, you can't keep claiming the gems and you have to keep surpassing other players by doing the battles. So that's really simple. Now because I've already done this next part, I can't actually show you, but this happens at the very start of the game. You will see a lot more icons on the top right corner of the screen. Some of these icons will give you gems if you click on them, and one of them should say Facebook like. Pretty much this requires you to have a Facebook account, and it's going to link you to the game developer's Facebook page. That's the Mystery Saiyan page that I linked in my last video, so check that out if you don't know what it is. 
And all you need to do is just give it a like, and then you return to the game, and then easy peasy, you get 200 gems. Now, for the other icon, I think it says comment. This just takes you to the App Store, and if you want another 200 gems, you just need to leave a review on the game, and that's a quick way to get 400 gems in total. So that's really simple. Next is going to be about events. Now, events change quite often, but one that will always remain is the level up gift. Pretty much, you can claim one of these for every 10 levels you go up. The higher you go up, the better rewards you'll get. For a lot of the early stages, you'll get gems. But now, when you're high level like me, they focus more on items that can advance your team. So, because I'm level 72, when I get to level 80, I'm obviously going to get rewards that are going to help my team. There is another event that you can do, but this requires you to be VIP4, which means you do need to spend money on the game. It's called the investment plan, and it's all about making profit. I highly recommend doing this if you are the right VIP level, but if not, it's your choice if you want to get to that VIP level. You don't need to spend money on the game to become good. And the way it works is if you spend 1,388 gems, you will gain gems each time you go up five levels. And in total, you're gonna make 13,888 gems. So by the time you reach level 95, it does feel like a waste of time, but if you plan on playing this game for a long time, it can be very beneficial. So I really recommend doing this. Um, I think it's going to help a lot of people, even if you don't notice it, and it's just a really nice reward to get once you reach that level. Carnival is another thing that you get at the start of the game, and by doing most of the tasks, you will receive Super Saiyan Goku. But particular tasks will give you gems. You can get them by clearing normal and elite stages from 1 to 10 and 10 to 20, which is really simple because most people just do that. If you're going to do the Corrin Tower, every 5 levels you progress, uh, you will receive gems up until stage 50. Another one is reaching higher ranks in tournament, which we already know we spoke about, but this is a separate task that will work every time you go up in intervals of 50 from the ranks of 500 all the way down to 50. So I get to rank 450, I'll gain some gems. I get to rank 400, I'll gain some gems. And the last one is by completing the crossover arena battles. And this will go up by intervals of two. So every two battles you complete and win, you'll gain some gems. And this goes up to 20. Now everyone gets mail. And the way mail works is that usually just before the game restarts or the server restarts every day, um, you'll receive a couple letters for doing particular things and they always contain a prize. Not all of them are gems, but you can gain some. I usually get about 10 letters and some of them are from League, some of them are from Crossover Battles, um, some of them are from my tournament. But you will also get random mail from the game developers, which will give us gems or maybe some promotion cards. This will generally happen if there's server maintenance or if the game has done really well and the owners want to reward us for supporting them. So that's also really helpful. And finally, we have battles. This is simple. So each time you complete a chapter, you will receive gems, but you need to get 30 stars because the gems are only in the final chest that you can claim. So this means you need to get all three stars in each battle so that you can get a total of 30 out of 30 and if you do the elite chapters you will get better rewards which includes extra gems but don't forget it will be harder than the normal chapters and it still will be only for the final chest so you're going to make sure you get all three stars uh, don't panic if you can't get all three stars you can always come back to it when your team gets stronger and then yeah claim the chest and then you get free gems and that's pretty much it for my video so please give it a like if you did enjoy it also, I'll be releasing another video soon, so subscribe if you want to keep updated. And feel free to comment below if you have any questions, and I'll be happy to reply. Thanks guys, enjoy the rest of the gameplay, and I'll see you next time.